Hey people, it's me again. Um, I'm gonna make this video quick, okay? I am live from Chicago, and I just needed to say that the air here today is terrible. I did a video um, a couple weeks ago when New York had terrible air quality from these wildfires in Canada. Today, Chicago has terrible air quality, and honestly, I don't know how long, I don't know if it was like this yesterday, but it's been hazy for a couple of days. And ever since New York had the bad air quality, I started to pay attention to it on the weather app. Because if you go on the weather app, you can see the air quality. And it should be under 50. Um, definitely under 100, right? Um, when it starts to be between 50 and 100, it's not so great. But when it goes above 100, it's bad. And last I checked, I, I should have checked it before I came on here. Because I've been outside for like an hour. When I came outside, no, actually earlier today, the air quality was 170. And now it's 185, the last time I checked. The air quality, it's hazy here. So what, what New York had a few weeks ago is coming over here now. And, you know, I'm very sensitive to bad air. Like, I don't have diagnosed, um, I don't have any diagnosed, um, uh, like, COPD or asthma or anything like that. But still, I'm very sensitive to bad air. Like, I can't stand artificial air fresheners and... So, as soon as I walked outside, it smells like burning cardboard outside. And it is hazy. Uh, it's not orange like it was in New York. And it, it's not level 400 like it was. But it's like almost 200. Yeah, it's bad in Chicago today. Um, and I'm actually supposed to go to... Um, and actually, people are moving around like... It, most people are moving around like it's fine. I'm like, you guys can't tell this. You definitely shouldn't be riding your bike. Okay? I see people riding their bikes. Now, this I've been feeling tired. I don't know if it's because of the air. I want to go to the gym, but I'm like... And, and when I get in my car, I want to put the windows down so I can get fresh air. But the air outside ain't fresh. And it's just like a miserable feeling. So I'm just saying that, you know, people, you guys should pay attention. Stay up on the air quality. If you look on your weather app on your phone, it tells you the air quality every day. Um, you want it to be under 50. Like, if it's 75, I wouldn't go exercise outside either. Um, but... When it's 200, like, it's like my stomach feels sick. Like, it's just, ugh. So, um, and they say that this air quality is going to be, is going to be fluctuating like this over the next few months because of these fires in Canada. Weirdly enough, I'm supposed to go to Canada, uh, at the end of this weekend. Uh, when I look at the air in Toronto and Montreal, it seems fine. Um, but yet, so I, I don't understand that science. How the air is fine in Toronto and Montreal, but it's terrible over here, um, and even when it was terrible in New York, it was fine. Um, yeah, our climate crisis is real. Exactly. One thing I didn't think about with those Canadian fires is that my aunt brought to my attention is why it was so bad. Because they were saying on the news that it was really bad because of the dry, you know, it was um, not enough rain, not enough snow. So that everything was dry and it was burning a lot. But what my aunt reminded me about was the fracking and that the reason why these fires are so are burning so out of control um is because of the the, the oil okay so there's <clears throat> there's oil in uh fueling those fires so that's one of the things that's making it so bad <clears throat> they never said that they said it was just the dryness but yeah um the storms and the wind currents brought it into chicago when it was bad in new york i remember they said that it had been like it had already the haze they said the haze had already come over chicago before it hit new york but i don't remember the air quality being bad maybe i didn't go outside i don't remember that but the way it feels the way it feels right now outside is just like ugh, like i feel like i don't want to breathe this air and um it last time i checked was 185 it could be higher than that now i don't know and hopefully it won't go higher um it's a problem when you have bad air quality it is this is ridiculous it is ridiculous because there's a like right now my mom she's been coughing up mucus for like i mean bad for like i don't know the past two weeks and i've never seen her go through that before and i think it was from i think it might be after effects from that new york air because my mom does have copd and people who have copd or certain um or asthma, or certain respiratory and uh, issues, that it definitely is a lot worse for them. Um, yeah, the fracking. Mm-hmm. The earth, things are, are interconnected. 
and people be acting like shit don't matter and it does you know and so who knows how long this is going to go on but these particles in the air you know they're really really bad okay so even if you don't have respiratory problems you know there's people walking around like shit's gravy i see kids outside playing people walking their dog like nah you need to keep your ass in the house you know and when you go outside breathe as little as possible i wanted to go to the gym i really wanted to go to the gym but i have mixed feelings about it because even though the gym is inside i'm just like ugh, like I, it's just like a sick feeling that i have um and so people pay attention to the air quality okay every day look at your phone app if the air quality is 75 you know i wouldn't go outside and, and and go on a serious bike ride or a serious workout in that air okay and definitely i don't know sorry definitely yeah you sure the dogs don't want to be out there yeah i'm sure too when it was bad before they were asking the news so what about the dogs and see, I had to go get my car cleaned because there's like a, a mildewy smell in my car. I don't know if something spilled. So I was like, I have to get it clean. So as soon as I got in my car, like I need to open the windows because I'm like, there's like the mildewy smell. And then I open the windows and I feel like I'm being poisoned by the air outside, you know. And then I go to the car wash and I go inside to pay them. And the room that they, that they have for you to go in to pay, that shit smelled like really toxic air freshener like the worst and the cheapest air freshener and i'm just as soon as i walked in there i'm like like this shit makes me want to throw up i'm like the people not i don't understand how people don't notice air quality because i do i can't stand all the artificial chemicals and the shit in the air it's really really bad and some people may not be sensitive to it but it's still bad okay it can still harm you so you know and i was fine in my house maybe because inside i got plants I got a wood floor, wood floors, and my, my windows actually were closed in my apartment. And usually I like to open them in the summer, but I think they must be closed. Because I didn't start feeling bad until I came out here. Yeah, people should get air purifiers with filters. Yeah, um, my mom is doing that in New York. That's why I think it's good to have plants in your house, too. And at least there's a lot of trees and stuff in Chicago, but this air is terrible, okay? So this air quality issue, people, stay up on it, pay attention to it, because you, what you can't see can hurt you. When it comes to your health, what you can't see, what you don't know, can still hurt you, okay? And it can have lasting effects that bother you later on in life, okay? And I'm a weed smoker. I haven't even smoked anything today. Like, I don't even feel like it. I'm just like, this air is making my stomach hurt. Yeah, you got about five plants? That's good that's good yeah keeping keeping plants in your house is good um but this weather this fracking and i don't understand why the weather is bad here but i mean why the air is bad here but it's not in canada i don't know but um yeah i just wanted to say that i'm not going to keep you guys long i just wanted to tell you stay up be aware of the air situation and be careful with it all right stay healthy people take care of yourself stay aware <laughs> bye